Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we turn to talking about that terrible movie from 2016 that became quite the cultural phenomenon, but mostly for all the wrong reasons. I'm of course talking about Ghostbusters 2016 as the title of this video suggests, and yes, as we have heard, apparently the director of that movie is threatening the audiences with releasing a 3.5 hour extended cut. Now, this is of course something that no one has asked for. This is a terrible idea and going to be really poorly received because that movie was poorly received. No one liked Ghostbusters 2016. It was an awful SJW filled feminist nightmare and it was frankly a movie that no one really asked for. Now granted we did want to see some new Ghostbusters movies. People still like the Ghostbusters series. That was a legendary film series started in the 80s starring some of the best comics ever like Bill Murray but the new one wasn't an idea that anyone had hoped for. People had been wanting a Ghostbusters 3 for a long time with the original cast, but instead, Sony decided to make an all-girl reboot that basically just restarted the franchise with girls as Ghostbusters instead, and they lost all the spark and all the cool stuff from the original series too. They threw in a lot of stupid special effects, and also a lot of social justice warrior inspired liberal and feminist messages. This was a whole girl power thing, screw the guys, bring up the girls, that kind of thing, and that was the main reason it really got backlash. It wasn't what the fans wanted. Wanted. It was forcing this diversity, forcing this female lead thing onto everyone. It turned into a big disaster. And now to hear that they're making a new cut of this, which is inspired by the Snyder Cut, Justice League just announced they're making a new cut of their movie. And that kind of inspired Paul Feig, the director of Ghostbusters, to propose making this extended cut too. But again, no one asked for this. And we're going to talk more about why and get details about this story soon. But first, let's first take a moment to check out our new sponsor. Guys, today I'm really excited to share with you this new product called Charge Hub Go Plus. This charger is amazing. It'll charge multiple devices, it has multiple plugs, and also a wireless charging feature. And as Mashable says, it's the only battery pack you'll ever need. It keeps your devices charged on the go and you don't even have to use cords. Look at all these compatibility options too. It works with the iPhone, iPad, Samsung, Google, all this cool stuff. So really, you have infinite options options and I think it's a great product that works really well. It fits in your pocket just like your phone. It's small, it's got a compact size and it charges ultra fast too. And in addition, this company is now offering a 30 day money back guarantee. So why not give it a shot? This offer is only available in the exclusive link below this video. Click on that. Make sure you guys check it out. Have fun and back to the show. Great, now that that's out of the way, let's get back to talking about Ghostbusters 2016. As I mentioned before, the longer 3.5 hour re-edit has been proposed and it's coming on the tail end of another movie announcement. We talked about this other story last week too. Zack Snyder recently announced he's gonna release an extended director's cut of Justice League. Justice League is a comic book movie featuring some of the biggest characters in all of comic books, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, all that cool stuff. And unfortunately, that 2017 film didn't turn out too well. It had a lot of problems, a lot of changing of directors and changing of editing and reshooting so it turned out awful and that's why the fans have been asking for this recut pretty much ever since and fortunately finally they announced it was coming and in response to that, that's what's brought us this new terrible Ghostbusters story. Again, Ghostbusters 2016 was a terrible flop. Everyone hated it. It was a bad, bad move and it was also, like I mentioned, a cultural turning point. It's sort of started this sort of culture war between the conservative side of the country and the liberals, the pro SJWs versus the antis. And in addition, this happened in 2016, which was also, of course, an election year. So in the background, we also had stuff going on like Trump versus Hillary, Republicans versus Democrats. We had all these primaries. We had all this voting stuff, people talking about issues, the Ghostbusters movie getting supported by Hillary Clinton and stuff like that. Democrats getting behind it, and also them, the actors, supporting the candidates. So it was a very big time, and this movie was a mark and milestone for sure. And the fact that they're thinking about bringing this director's cut out now really should alarm us. I mean, who cares? It's not like the biggest deal in the world. You're not going to watch it. We're not going to watch it. No one's really going to be 
hurt by this, whichever, they can release it. But it just shows their lack of self-awareness and the fact that they're doubling down, tripling down. They never want to admit that Ghostbusters did bad because the movie was poorly made. They always want to act like it was attacked because they want to say all of us detractors are sexist. They act like anyone that disagreed with the movie or didn't like the direction or the Lady Reboot idea, they want to blame us and say, oh, it's just because the fans are terrible. It's everyone else's fault. It's not the movie maker's fault. They've been doing that ever since it happened and this is just another sign of that because the fact that this director would propose this that's a very bold thing to say if I was him and I think anyone with a little bit of shame and a little bit of honesty and self-reflection they would just kind of pretend Ghostbusters didn't happen that would be the way to go just move on with your career make something else but the fact that they keep harping back to it kind of pretending it was a success somehow or some kind of positive thing is absolutely ridiculous and it goes to show the fact that that they're able to kind of rewrite their history here. These liberals are in charge of the media. They're in charge of the narrative. They've got all these players and all these newspapers and outlets and social media and stuff too. So they're very comfortable with kind of rewriting the history. And that's what I think is happening here. That's part of the story at least. And with all that said, let's finally get to the article with some more details. It's from Screen Rant. It's called, Paul Feig seriously wants to release Ghostbusters 2016's 3.5 hour director's cut. Following the news that the Snyder Cut of Justice League is being released, Paul Feig teased he wants to release the three and a half hour cut of Ghostbusters. Again, no one asked for this. Terrible idea very confident kind of move from the director. You got to give them that. You got to give them credit for kind of ignoring all the haters because there's many of them and you got to recognize that. But again, is that necessarily a good thing? I think when you work in entertainment, there's a certain level of, of kind of accepting criticism, admitting when you had a mistake, making more things that people actually want to watch instead of trying to force this stuff down our throats. That's how I feel about this. I feel like it's again, them forcing this feminist image and this SJW garbage right down our throats. Paul Feig offers to release a 3.5 hour director's cut of 2016 Ghostbusters. The apparent tease comes after yesterday's news regarding the Snyder cut of Justice League. Years of fans campaigning for Warner Brothers to release Zack Snyder's original DC film finally paid off as Snyder will get to complete his cut of Justice League for HBO Max in 2021. It was a major win for the director who saw his original vision completely altered by reshoots. Snyder is hardly the only director to have dealt with this over the years. And the news of the Snyder Cut's release led to some wondering if something similar could happen with other films like say David Ayer's Suicide Squad. That's another movie that kind of was mired in some production problems, a lot of reshoots, a lot of the studio meddling. So a similar situation to kind of Justice League and they are similar movies in the DC universe. Uh, so I understand the idea of a Suicide Squad kind of recut too, but the one that they're proposing with Ghostbusters, it doesn't really make sense. It's not the same kind of situation at all. I mean, first of all, there's no fans out there dying to have this extended cut. It's not like Zack Snyder or Suicide Squad. It's not with these hardcore fans demanding it, hoping to see it, wanting to pay money for it. No, this isn't that situation at all. This is actually the opposite because this is the director and the people making it saying, hey, you want to you want to see this? Does anyone want to see this? But no one's interested. And he's just kind of putting that offer out there. It's very cringe. It's very out of touch. I mean, these other movies have hardcore fan bases. Granted, Ghostbusters has a hardcore fan base. There used to be a lot of really good fans from the original series. I don't know where that's at now. Things have certainly changed and the new fans coming in for this new movie were like a completely different breed. It was like a lot of SJWs and liberals just trying to hop on the bandwagon because they wanted to support the movie that supported their ideology. They weren't even really Ghostbusters fans is where I'm going. And that's kind of what happened. And I don't know where the state of that fandom is now. I mean, there was a new Ghostbusters movie that was was supposed to come out this year they were going to kind of like redo things and abandon the lady reboot stuff paul rudd was supposed to be in it it was going to have some other younger kids like descendants of the original ghostbusters it was going to be an actual later sequel of the original movies and i was looking forward to that that could have been cool and i know that'll still come eventually it got delayed because of this crisis and it's not coming out this summer anymore I'm not sure when it's coming but again Back to the comparison, it doesn't compare because people have been asking for Snyder Cut forever. No one's asking for the Ghostbusters one.
Arriving in theaters the year before Justice League did, Feig's Ghostbusters sought to revive the beloved property with a brand new female-led cast. However, it ran into problems almost immediately when a vocal section of the internet complained about the new cast being all female. Even the Ghostbusters received generally positive reviews, a large majority of audiences dismissed the film and let it flop at the box office with a mere $229 million worldwide total. Okay. This actually tells a pretty interesting story right here. First of all, I can tell this article is a little biased for the movie. They're trying to blame these reviewers and the people that didn't like it. They're trying to imply they're almost sexist because right here it says they didn't like the cast for being all female. That wasn't the actual issue. If you noticed me talking about it, I never said, oh, we hate the movie because it has girls in it. It's not because of the girls. It's because of how they did it. It's because they made a lady reboot of a previously male-led movie first of all and second of all they did it in a feminist way it wasn't just oh let's put girls in there let's swap them out it was like oh let's put girls in there let's also hate on guys let's have chris hemsworth be this dumb male lead character who gets crapped on all the time and is only looked at by the girls because he's good looking you know they did a lot of things in a different way than this article would have you believe and in addition, they're trying to act like it had generally positive reviews, which may have happened in the mainstream media. Like there was a lot of shills trying to back up the movie and support it. But most audiences dismissed the film. People didn't buy tickets. And that's because it just wasn't that good. It wasn't because we hate girls. It wasn't because, oh, we were against necessarily a female reboot. Like I could see a situation where that could work, but this one didn't work because of all those other things, because of the SJW stuff, the feminism, the anti-male stuff. And in addition, it just wasn't that funny. This is something I was thinking too when they talked about this extended cut. The way they did the new Ghostbusters, like the humor, it was very low brow. It was a lot of like farting humor and a lot of terrible improv where they would just kind of try to go and blah, 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 blah. They'd have all these lines and you could tell they were just kind of making stuff up as they go. and. Sometimes that's funny. That can work in some situations. Anchorman was a movie that did a lot of improv, and that happens a lot too. But this one, it didn't work, and they just, the editors kept letting them go and didn't cut them off, and it came off really bad. And with that part said, and talking about that criticism, I think that what the extended cut would be is just a lot more of the improv. Again, that compares to Anchorman again, because I remember Anchorman had an extended cut and even had like a totally separate cut because they had so much improv, they could put it into a second version of the movie. And I think that's what's gonna happen with this Ghostbusters one. It's just gonna be a lot of dumb improv and it's gonna be bad because already what was in the movie was bad. Um, I'm sure there could be a few laughs in there. I mean, I laughed at this movie a few times too, I'll admit it. I mean, I didn't like it at the end of the day, but I watched it, I think, once or twice. And yeah, there's some humor. Like, I'm not going to deny, I'm not going to be totally against it just because. I mean, there was a few laughs in there. Some of these actors are actually funny. Kristen Wiig has a lot of good roles in other movies. She's okay here, but it, overall, it was just a big, big mess. Here's a Paul Feig tweet. He says, there's a three and a half hour cut of Ghostbusters. I'd be happy to share it. This is... um. Can we get a Paul Feig cut of Justice League? This was someone making a joke and then Paul Feig kind of proposing the Ghostbusters cut. And I think it's just kind of cringe again because he's like offering this up and no one's even asking for it. No one cares. I'm sure a few people out there will say something. SJWs will pretend to get hyped about it, but it's really just them being desperate and trying to pretend nothing happened. Like, oh, everyone liked the movie, you know, but really they didn't. It wasn't, it wasn't well received. The franchise is getting another reboot next year with Ghostbusters Afterlife, which aims to be a more direct continuation of the original films. It was originally supposed to open in theaters this summer, but the pandemic led to it being pushed to March 2021. There were some who thought Afterlife was a slap in the face to those who worked on 2016 Ghostbusters, and it stars Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, and Kate McKinnon. At the same time, there are plenty more who were eager for the latest Ghostbusters adventure, like myself. And everyone, I think, yeah, I mean, we're definitely worried. We're definitely kind of gun-shy because they did a terrible job in the last one, but the new trailer and premise look good. I like Paul Rudd in it. I like you know, it had the kids actors, it had one of the kids from Stranger Things and stuff like that. So it had a definite better, more potential to it. It looked like fun. It looked like it wasn't politically motivated. It wasn't cringe humor. It had more serious stuff to it. It actually was like a pretty serious trailer. My main criticism was it didn't have much humor in it at all, which is kind of a given with Ghostbusters. It's a comedy 
at first, and then second, it has the supernatural stuff and the interesting story. But comedy comes first, so I wonder if it'll actually be as funny as it needs to be. Feig was most likely joking about the 3.5 hour cut of his Ghostbusters, though it's fair to say there are still people out there who would be interested in it. While not as fun as the original 1984 film, the 2016 Ghostbusters was far better than some gave it credit for, and it definitely didn't deserve the level of backlash it got. Sadly, however, it's unlikely there will be a sequel to the film, and there probably won't be a director's cut either. In this case, what you see is what you get. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen. I think this is just a reach by Paul Feig, him kind of grasping at straws, trying to defend himself once again like we said they won't let this go they don't want to admit they lost here they don't want to admit they made a bad movie and it's just coming up now because of the Snyder thing that just happened so it's interesting to talk about it's a funny story and we all know the truth it was really as bad as people said probably worse I did give it some credit myself like I mentioned there's a few laughs in there it's not like the worst movie of all time or anything I don't think anyone's really claiming that but you know it was overall really badly put together really offensive and cringy and that's why we're never going to see the director's cut at least not anytime soon that about wraps things up i hope you liked today's video make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below tell me what you think about ghostbusters what you think about this possible extended cut and what do you think about these people behind it like screen rant and paul feig kind of denying the truth and the fact that it was a terrible movie that everyone despises Looking forward to reading your thoughts below. Also, hit that like button to help support this channel and get this video shared. And until next time, you guys have a great day.